Hello. Uh, a fairly autumnal feel in places today, thanks to low pressure. It's quite windy, although the winds are easing. Lots of heavy showers around as well. And temperatures uh, definitely on the low side for the time of year. Here's the bigger picture. It's a, a bit of a mishmash. The UK under these zones of cloud and wet weather and two areas of low pressure. Now, it's this one in particular that's been making things uh, very lively wind-wise along the south coast. But it is gradually pulling its way northwards taking its rain with it, and that rain is going to linger across eastern Scotland, parts of northern England, for the rest of the day. Still pretty gusty along the south coast, but um, not as lively as the winds were first thing, and continuing to ease a little through the day. It does mean with the breeze that where we see the showers, they'll tend to zip through, but some of them could be heavy. There will be some sunny spells, but lots of cloud for Wales, parts of Northern Ireland and western Scotland getting away with a largely dry afternoon, although there could be here too some slow-moving showers, because here the winds aren't that strong. So as I said, a bit of a mishmash, lots going on. Basically, if you're stuck under the rain band, though, it's going to be pretty chilly with temperatures only 14 to 16 degrees. Elsewhere, with a bit of brightness, we might stumble up to 20, maybe 21. But generally, as I say, below average and feeling cooler with the breeze and the showers. More showery rain to come across northeastern parts through the night. In fact, staying very wet across northeast Scotland. So we need to keep an eye on that rain really starting to build up through the night. Uh, further outbreaks of rain coming into Wales, southwest England. Elsewhere, the showers should tend to fade. And so for many, it will be a dry night. Temperatures mostly holding up into the teens. Into Wednesday's weather and still that low pressure system is nearby. You can see that curl of clouds. So still further outbreaks of rain to come, especially over northern Scotland. Should ease off as we go through the day. Elsewhere, lots of clouds, a few showers. And then as we go through the day, I think we'll see heavier showers developing, certainly across the bulk of England and Wales and some fairly intense downpours likely. The winds will be light, which means the showers will be slower moving. But it also means if you don't catch a shower, and there should be some lengthy spells of sunshine, and particularly Northern Ireland, Western Scotland, looking largely dry through the afternoon. West Wales also brightening up quite nicely as we go through the day. Probably not too many showers across the far southeast, but uh, elsewhere, I say, there will be some very heavy, slow-moving showers around during Wednesday afternoon. Temperature-wise, well, with a bit more sunshine, likely to be a little higher through Wednesday, back closer to average, maybe 22, 23 at best, but... Uh, Still feeling cool when the showers come along and still plenty of those showers around if you've got plans through Wednesday evening. Slowly fading as we go through Wednesday night and into Thursday. And the outlook is for something a little drier for Thursday and Friday. That low pressure system finally disappearing on Wednesday night. And then a little bump in the isobars, a little ridge of high pressure. There are weather fronts waiting out in the Atlantic and they may well bring a return to more widespread showers at the weekend. Thursday and Friday won't be completely dry. There will still be some showers, particularly across parts of the east. But overall, it looks a lot drier across the UK with sunnier spells and lighter winds as well. More details on all of that available, of course, if you follow us on social media.